Okay, everybody, we're going to get started in just a second. We're just making sure that everybody on Facebook can see this and also you too. So um, as you guys come on board, I want you guys to know that you're in the right place. We are going to talk about real estate investing. We're going to talk about wholesaling. We're going to talk about making some money in your city. Okay, so how you doing, Nicola Wright? How are you doing? Um, if you guys are watching this live on YouTube or if you're watching this live on Facebook, go ahead and write in the comments area and I will contact you and communicate with you later on during the time whenever I have an intermission, okay? So uh, let's see, I'm just gonna start naming people's names out there. So we have Nicola, we have Mr. Alonzo, we have Armando, we have Betty Stanley and Sin Brooks, we have Elizabeth, Leslie, Ronchelle, okay? William, Steve, we have Jeremy, we have a few phone call listeners who are listening in. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So hey, you guys, uh, let me know, uh, you guys who are on the webinar live, uh, let me know if you guys are ready to have a good time today and learn about making money. Go ahead and hit that little hand raise button and let me see that. I wanna see like 10 million hands raised. If you're watching this on Facebook Live, I want you to go ahead and hit that like or that love button, the heart button, and I want you to share this to your people that are watching this, not watching this, but I want you to share this to your feed, okay? So some of you guys may have seen the poll that I put out there. I wanted to see how many of you guys have actually done deals before in the past, okay? And uh, everybody raised up their hands. All right, cool, cool. So uh, we're going to keep this to about uh, 60 to 90 minutes long. We're going to cover the teaching in about 60 minutes. Uh, we're going to do questions and answers for the remaining uh, 30 minutes after that, okay? So anyways, let's get into the training. So give me one moment, you guys, and we will get this party started. Okay. So go ahead, you guys, let me know if you guys can see my screen. If you guys can see my slide deck, go ahead and hit those hand raise buttons, okay? All right, William, Sin, Ronchelle raised up their hands. Sweet, sweet. All right, you guys, so today what we're going to talk about is how to flip houses like a ninja. We're going to talk about the six-week boot camp enrollment as well. And the goal from the training today, you guys, um, and this is live, so it's Thursday, October 26th, a uh, couple days before Halloween. But uh, the goal, you guys, is we want to equip you guys who are newbies, you guys who are beginners with the skills to pay the bill. Uh, we want to equip you guys with the skills to do your first wholesale deal and have your first $10,000 a month, okay? How many people does that resonate with? Go ahead and raise up those hands and hit those like buttons, okay? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Everybody should uh, raise up their hand. All right, cool, cool. Somebody's calling from a Galaxy S8. All right, I see you. So who is this for? Who is this training for? This training is for anybody that's been studying real estate investing and wholesaling for the past few years, but they've been fearful of taking action, okay? This webinar is for anybody who's out there and you may have taken action before in the past, but for one reason or another, you have not done your first deal as of yet, okay? Who am I talking to? Go ahead and raise up those hands. Finally, this webinar is also for anybody that has done a few deals before in the past. So perhaps you've done a few wholesale deals in the past. Maybe you're a realtor and you've done some listings and whatnot, but whatever happened, life got in the way and you've gotten off track and you need help getting back on track, okay? So this is also for you if you were that person, that man, that woman out there, and you're new to real estate investing, and you believe in the fallacy that you need to have either a bunch of money or you need to have like an 800 plus credit score in order to get started in real estate, okay? That's completely false, all right? How many of you guys believe in that fallacy, all right? You go ahead and let me know, just raise up those hands. I wanna see how many people raise up their hands. Okay, I got one person that raised up their hands. All right, I got two. All right, cool, cool, I see you guys, all right. So this webinar training, you guys, is also for those, and I see you, Armando Gonzalez. Uh, this webinar is also for those people out there that are working a ton of hours right now at their career or your job, and you're very, very tired of making the man rich with your efforts and your time. So you believe deep down on the inside that, hey, 
I have enough intelligence, I have enough smarts, I have enough credibility, I have enough good stuff on the inside of me where I can get out there, I can build up a business, I can do my thing and build something great for my family and my future and generations after that, okay? How many of you guys agree with that statement? Raise up those hands, okay? Everybody should. So you guys, in the next 60 to 90 minutes, okay, uh, we're gonna do 60 minutes of training and then 30 minutes of just answering everybody's questions live on the, on the air. Uh, we're gonna cover a bunch of things. We're gonna cover the financial benefits that wholesaling houses can give you if, and I repeat, if you set up your business right. We're also gonna talk about the freedom that wholesaling houses will give you. And those freedoms involve your time, your freedom, and your money, okay? So I believe that life is for the living and we're not dead yet. We're not walking dead or zombies, so we should live life freely, okay? Um, we're going to cover the basics of how you can get started right now and get started fast in wholesaling and doing real estate so that you're not still trying to do this thing as a hobby in 2022, okay? Because there's some people that I talked to before in the past, you guys and gals, where they have been trying to do real estate since 2012, okay? And it's 2017 now, all right? So they've been trying to do it for the past five years, and as of yet, they have not done it, okay? If that's you or anybody else that's on this webinar, we gotta change that, okay? Let's make you some money, all right? And what we're also gonna do is we're also going to open up the doors to our six week online boot camp, okay? And we're gonna open this up for 10 people at a discounted investment, okay? And we'll talk about that here in a minute or so, okay? But uh, the biggest question is what is wholesaling, all right? So uh, wholesaling is a form of real estate that you do where it, you don't need to use your credit, you don't need to use a bunch of cash, okay? What you're doing is basically arbitrage, okay? you're putting, uh, signing an agreement to control a property. And then once you control the property with a simple agreement, you sell your agreement that you have in that property to another party, which is a buyer for a higher amount, okay? And so what we typically charge on those contract assignments, you guys, is $5,000 to $10,000 per deal. Okay, and we're out there, we're flipping houses that we technically don't own, we're using little money down. What we do, and I teach my students to do, is put down between $10 to $100 as a deposit on the property, okay? And then we're not using any of our credit, all right? So I don't care if your credit can't get it, I don't care if your credit is shot, I don't care if your credit is stank, I don't care if your credit makes people run away whenever they see it. Ah, 480, you know? It does not matter. You don't need it when you're wholesaling houses, you guys, okay? Basically, all you need to do is find one deal from a property with a seller, with a homeowner, put it on a contract, and then you sell that interest in that property that you have to another buyer, okay? It's the simplest form of real estate, and on average, you're making five to $10,000 a pop, okay? And that's how I got started, um, six, seven years ago in real estate, you guys. So I got started doing that and I started doing deal after deal after deal. I started doing fix and flips. We got a TV show on HGTV after that, you guys. So um, it's been pretty fruitful, uh, fruitful, all right? So um, every person, you guys, that is on this call, you're watching this uh, live or on YouTube or Facebook or wherever you're watching this at, um, you can easily get out there and do two to three of these deals minimum each month, even if you're working a full-time job, okay? And I'm gonna show you a couple uh, tricks to do, all right? But um, what you do in wholesaling, you guys, is uh, the marketing side of things is very important. So you're gonna do the marketing to find a homeowner who's motivated to sell their property at a deep discount, all right? So maybe they have a vacant property, it's distressed, they inherited it from grandmother that just passed away. Maybe they have tenants from hell that put concrete down the toilet drain and jacked up the piping and the plumbing, all right? They are pissed off, they're distressed, they most likely do not want to deal with that property anymore, okay? And so let's say in this circumstance, you guys, let's make this an example. Let's say you get this property under contract for $50,000 from the motivated seller, okay? So you may want to write this down. Write down $50,000 from motivated seller, okay? 
And you guys that are watching this on the webinar, go ahead and raise up your hands just so that I know that I have not lost anybody. All right. All right. Cool, cool, cool. How you doing, Sin Brooks and Leslie Rivon? Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Uh, you find a cash buyer, okay? Hey, how you doing, Sean Jefferson from uh, Indianapolis? Just saw that you just jumped on. Uh, so let's say you find a cash buyer who wants that same property, okay, that you have on the contract for $50,000. What you're going to do is you're going to go out there, do a little bit of marketing, which I teach you how to do. You're going to find a cash buyer who wants that very same property. Okay. And then you're going to negotiate a buy price of $60,000 with that person. So that guy, he loves that deal because he knows, Hey, once I fix up this property, I'm going to be able to sell it for $115,000. Okay. So he's willing and game to buy it for 60,000 bucks. Okay. So write that down, uh, $60,000 from buyer. Okay. So we have $50,000 and we have $60,000, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take both contracts from the seller and the buyer to a title company or a real estate attorney's office. And then what they are going to do is they're going to run a title check on the property and make sure that there's nothing messed up with the uh, title history or anything like that or ownership, right? And then they are going to schedule a date for you to close, okay? This is very important. So when the closing date comes, you guys, and make sure you follow this, the cash buyer is going to bring $60,000 to the table. The motivated seller is going to get that original $50,000 that you have agreed to purchase the property for, okay? Now, I know there's some of y'all that may not have been, uh, may not have done well in math in high school, but this is easy math right here, okay? There's $10,000 left over. Okay, and I want you guys to comment right now in the face, if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, I want you guys to comment on this in the chat box if you're watching this live on the webinar. Who does that $10,000 go to? And I'm just gonna say silent for a second, okay? Ding, 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 you are right. That money is gonna go to you, okay? That money is going to go to your pocket. It's your money, okay? Ronchelle said me. Sin said me. Sean said me. Leslie said me. Izina said me. And she had a bunch of E's at the end, okay? You're right. It's going to go to you guys, okay? And let me get out of here real quick and knock this thing out of here. All righty. Cool, cool, cool. See? When you're doing these webinars live, you guys, a lot of times I do these webinars where they're automated, so they're nice and professional, but you guys got me live today, okay? So uh, we're gonna have probably a technical difficulty or two, but that's all right, we're doing this live. So uh, look, you guys, you get $10,000 that goes in your pocket, and we're doing this every day, every week, well, not every day, but we're doing this uh, on a monthly basis, you guys, doing deals, our students are doing deals, and it's something which is a simple process for anybody that wants to put the effort and the work and labor into doing it, okay? So it's not a get rich quick scheme or anything like that. You actually got to put in work, okay? So um, if I know there's a lot of people out there looking for get rich quick schemes. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm 37 years old right now, and I've been in business full time since the age of 23 years old after I uh, went through bankruptcy. I've had four six-figure businesses in that time period. I've seen a lot of things. I've seen a lot of highs and a lot of lows. But the one thing that I know for a fact is get-rich-quick schemes do not work, okay? So they don't work. You got to put in some work in order to make your business work, okay? So look, some of you guys, you guys are ready to get started now, okay? And so uh, for those of people that are ready to get started now with uh, training, because some of you guys have been following me for years and you know that we're uh, opening up the doors to our boot camp. okay? Uh, again, you guys, at the end of this webinar, after we teach, we're going to open up the enrollment to the online six-week house flipping boot camp, okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to teach you how to do your first wholesale deal, how to build up a massive cash buyers list so that you're on your way to your first $10,000 a month, Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cover a bunch of things in that six week uh, time period. Okay. And for those of you guys who are ready to get started now, you don't need to listen to all this teaching. I want you to go to houseflippingdojo.com slash bootcamp. 
houseflippingdojo.com slash bootcamp. And if you enroll uh, right now within the next 10 minutes, I'm going to give you 300 free seller leads, okay? So that's for the people that are ready to get started now. For everybody else, I'm going to ask you a question, and it's going to be a million-dollar question, all right? You ready for that? Do you think that you can do this? Do you think that you can wholesale houses, flip houses? Raise your hand if you're on this webinar watching this and you believe in that, okay? If you're watching this in YouTube or Facebook, go ahead and hit that like or that love button, okay? Matter of fact, if you're on Facebook, go ahead and hit the frowny face or the angry face. I don't get a lot of people that give me frowny or angry faces on Facebook. But anyways, <laughs> we're going to learn about some great stuff today, you guys. But um, in the second half of this web class, you guys, uh, I'm actually going to give some lucky person a free six-week house flipping boot camp membership, okay? So you definitely want to stay to the end because I'm going to give one person a free boot camp membership, okay? And if you're one of the people that have already bought your membership from uh, what I just posted, well, what I just told you like 30 seconds ago, then I'm going to refund you uh, your money, okay, so that you guys can get in for free, okay? But we're going to pick one lucky person, okay? Uh, number two, I'm going to give everybody that's on this class access to download my free uh, seller empire contracts, okay? No charge. Uh, you can get access to that so that you can get out there and do business, okay? But before we get started, you guys, does any of this sound like you, okay? Are you in fear of getting started in real estate because you think you need money or credit to get started? Raise up your hands if that's you. Maybe you have been to one of those real estate uh, workshops that come to town and they teach you, teach you, teach you, or try to teach you, but the crap that they teach you or the nonsense that they teach you leaves you way more confused afterwards than what you were coming into that event in the first place because, oh, and they get this. And then on top of that, they want you to drop twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 on your education, okay? How many of you guys have been through that process before? A lot of people, okay? Uh, maybe you have studied real estate, okay? And you're in fear of speaking to sellers because you don't know what to say. And that's something that we will beat that into your head, what to say, okay? Um, Maybe you're that person, you're nervous that you'll screw up on the comps, which uh, comps are uh, how you determine what the value of a property is, okay? And maybe you are kind of worried about, okay, well, what if I mess up on the repair cost of the property, okay? If that's you, raise up your hand, okay? Or put like a like on the on the post on Facebook, okay? Maybe you've been hearing everybody and their mama talk about how you gotta do postcards to find sellers, you gotta do yellow letters, you gotta do banner signs, you gotta do Google AdWords, you gotta do door knocking, you gotta do this, that, and this, and some other things, you gotta sell your firstborn child, you gotta go do whatever, okay? And you're confused, okay? How many of y'all are confused? Don't have any shame in your game if you're ever confused, okay? So um, maybe you are fearful of spending money, you guys, on marketing, which I used to be there. And you don't want to do this the wrong way because for some of you guys, um, you are you have a limited budget and you got to make sure that your dollar stretches out and goes as far as it can go, okay? That's fair, all right? Uh, maybe you think that there's way too much competition in your city when it comes to wholesaling. You believe that, okay, well, there's, you know, Johnny over here, Freddie's doing it. Uh, this person's over here doing it pretty big and large time. How can little old me jump into there, okay? Is that you? Go ahead and raise up your hand, okay? Raise up your hand one more time, you guys, if you're nervous about approaching and speaking with a title company or real estate agents or making lowball offers, okay? You're scared to give a lowball offer to a seller because you don't want them to cuss you smooth out, okay? You don't want them to uh, tear you a new one down there, right? How many of y'all are in that uh, boat, okay? Exactly, Isaiah said, that's me. Alonzo said, that's me, okay? Maybe you have no fear at all, okay? Maybe you just feel like you need somebody to hold your hand, teach you a system that actually works, that doesn't have a bunch of fluff or BS, and something that's actually gonna make you money, okay? That's pretty fair. So look, you guys, conquer your fear. Take action, get the right system, and you will make 
money, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put this microphone closer to my face so that y'all can hear me. Conquer your fear, take action, get the right system, and you will make money, all right? Matter of fact, if you're taking notes, I want you to write that down, okay? Uh, conquer your fear, take action, get the right system, and you will make money. And that's guaranteed. But the question that begs to be asked is this, what is the right system? And I'm going to explain that in just a minute, okay? So who am I, in case y'all don't know who I am, um, this is where I start getting cocky and stuff like that, talking about me. My name is Daniel Wiafi. I'm based out of Las Vegas, Nevada. I've wholesaled, fixed, and flipped, and creative, creatively financed over 120 properties in my business career, okay? I've helped hundreds of people since 2013 wholesale their first deal all across America, multiple states, okay? Average wholesale deal that people are doing are between $5,000 to $10,000 a pop. So what is possible wholesaling houses when you have the right systems and guidance, okay? This is possible, okay? And this is where I get to geek out and just tell you how proud I am of the people and students that uh, have been under my tutelage in the past, okay? This is Entry on Hill. He's down in Dallas, Texas. Did his first $50,000 in deals in 30 days time by taking action off of the YouTube videos I posted, okay? He worked hard, he busted it. He did some driving for dollars in the hood, okay? And I'll explain what driving for dollars is in uh, probably the next 15 minutes. All right, but he closed his first deal for $40,000, okay? $40,000 in his pocket. Obviously, he, got, obviously he has to pay taxes on that, but $40,000. Could you imagine making $40,000 off of your first deal, you guys? Go ahead and hit the, the hands up button if you can, all right? Go ahead, and if you're in the comments area on YouTube or Facebook, I want you to do hashtag make money, okay? The second deal that Antrion did was a deal for $10,000, okay? So in his first 30 days that he actually got out there and he took action, you guys, and I see your questions um, on the webinar, you guys, I'm gonna answer those uh, at the end, so forgive me. Um, but you guys, take action. That's the biggest thing that you have to do is take action, okay? This guy, he closed $50,000 worth of deals, okay? Uh, this guy right here, his name's uh, Lamar, and he's up in Northern California, up in uh, Sacramento. He made $3,000 by locking up a property. He only put $10 down, and he found a cash buyer to buy his interest in that property, okay? Now, the funny thing about that is this was actually a disappointing check, all right? The reason being is because he should have originally made 20, I believe it was between twenty-two dollars to $23,000 off of that deal, Okay. But some things went wrong, okay? But um, uh, not me, but my coach that, is, uh, uh, that works with me was able to salvage the deal and get Antrion, I'm sorry, get Lamar 3,000 bucks off of the deal, all right? How many of you guys would love to accidentally make $3,000? Go ahead and raise up them hands, okay? If you're watching this on Facebook, go ahead and hashtag accidental 3,000. <laughs> All right. This is my sister and she lives in Oklahoma, actually moving down to Las Vegas. And she did $10,310 on her first deal. Mic drop. Okay. This is Jason. Okay. He was a pastor, made $5,000 when uh, he linked up with me in less than three weeks. He put up a bunch of banner signs. Um, he learned how to talk with sellers, learn how to negotiate with buyers. He put 20 hours of uh, work in and he flipped his first house using my techniques, okay? This right here is Jeff. He was a businessman previous, uh, well, still is, obviously. He owned three uh, repair shops, and he didn't have very much time, okay? This is a guy that was busy. He made decent money, obviously, uh, but he was looking for something to give him freedom from those three shops that he had, okay? He did $18,000 on two deals, and one of those checks that he made, he made it while he was on anniversary with his wife in Jamaica, okay? That's powerful, you guys. And I believe this is one of his checks, okay? Uh, yeah, this is the check he made down in Jamaica, over $7,000, all right? Teresa, down in Dallas, realtor, $10,000 on her first deal within 90 days of enrolling in the, in the academy, okay? She is using uh, the marketing so that she can get wholesale deals 
as well as get listings as a realtor, okay? So she's getting a double whammy on it, all right? So if you're a realtor, you guys, you guys should always look at potentially uh, doing these type of deals, okay, uh, wholesale deals. This right here is Brian, and uh, he wrote to me uh, last year. He quit his job as an insurance uh, adjuster for State Farm, I believe it was. He made $17,000 in 14 days, okay? I've been telling the guy uh, to quit his job for like probably four or five months, okay? And then when he made a bunch of money, he finally uh, took heed to what I said, okay? And he's still doing it full time, even a year later, okay? So look, you guys, I don't say this to brag, okay? Because I'm just going to brag on my students. I'll never brag on myself. But I say this as an example, you guys. All these successful wholesalers or anybody that's successful in their right mind, they all have a system in place and they all have guidance. And once you have your system and guidance in place, you guys, you're going to be able to do a bunch of different things, okay? Number one, you're going to have a freedom of your time. We all want freedom. Number two, you're going to have financial freedom, okay? You're not going to have to worry about uh, how are you going to pay the electric bill? How are you going to pay the mortgage? How are you going to pay the car payment, okay? Three, you're going to be able to give like you've never given before, okay? So that's one of the most powerful things that you can do and one of, one of the most powerful blessings that you can do is to be able to give to people that are in need. Give to your church, give to your uh, synagogue, give to your mosque, okay? Give to uh, charities and donate, okay? Help family members that are in need, all right? But how many of you guys would love to give? Sin raised her hand, Leslie raised her hand, Ray John raised his hand or her hand, okay? And so you guys, that's powerful, okay? Shantrina raised her hand and so did Elizabeth, okay? Number four, you guys, you're going to be able to build a legacy for your children and your future generations. And that's important for me. Um, you know, I have one child. He's uh, going to be eight years old next month, okay, um, in November. And uh, for some of you guys, you guys have one or two, three, four, ten kids. <laughs> God bless you if you have ten kids. But you want to be able to build a legacy for your kids and your future generations, okay? That's just being, you know, a man or being a woman, okay? You got to provide for your family, okay? But look, you guys, the decision is yours, okay? Whether you take action or you take non-action, that is always going to be your decision, okay? But you need to always grab the bull by the horns and understand that you are in control of your own destiny. Nobody else is, not the government, not your job, not your employer, not, you know, whatever. You are in charge of your destiny, so you owe it to yourself to grab the bull by the horns and run with it, okay? So I'm going to tell you guys six principles that you need to follow in my $10,000 a month blueprint to wholesaling houses, okay? Am I promising that you're going to make $10,000 a month wholesaling houses? Hell to the no, I'm not, okay? I can't do that. That's against FCC regulations, okay? But if you follow what I am showing you and teaching you, you guys, you're going to be well on your way to making that, okay? So look, you guys, uh, principle number one is get your mind right. Somebody type in the comments area, get your mind right. In the chat area, get your mind right, okay? Type it out. You have to understand, you guys, that you are an entrepreneur. I'm going to say it slowly. Entrepreneur, okay? You are not an employee. When you're an entrepreneur, uh, there's different things that you do. There's different things that you got to worry about versus an employee. So don't get misled, you guys, by having an employee mindset. Because an employee thinks of, how do I get good benefits? How do I get a good retirement plan? How do I save up or get my two weeks vacation? Create your own benefits. If you're making enough money, you guys, you don't have to worry about how to pay for healthcare, okay? You don't have to worry about if it's Obamacare, if it's Trump care, if it's who cares that's out there because you're paying for your own benefits, okay? You don't have to worry and look for the government or your job or whoever to support you because you're creating your own benefits, okay? And in the business world, you guys, you only get paid when you solve people's problem, okay? And write that down, solve people's problem. Okay, so employees get paid on an hourly basis. Employees get paid salary, all right? But you as an entrepreneur, you get paid 
by solving people's problems, okay? And in the real life world of entrepreneurship, you guys, the bigger the problem is, the bigger the paycheck, all right? So the problem does not care whether it takes you 20 hours to solve, okay? Or two hours to solve, let's use two hours, okay? If you can solve a big, huge problem in two hours and make $15,000 off of that, nobody cares, okay? That's what the life of being an entrepreneur is, okay? There is no cap, there is no ceiling, there is no lid to how far up you can go, okay? And that's what excites me about being an entrepreneur, okay? Um, and look, you guys, this is very important because we are the uh, summation or we are the uh, average of the closest five people that are around us that we hang around, okay? So make sure that you follow those people who inspire you and you dish those people who devalue you, all right? So if somebody is negative and they're always pulling you down and they're always writing, you know, a bunch of like, oh, I hate this person, I hate that person on Facebook and they're always like, you know, putting you in a wrong mindset, okay? Unfollow them, push them away a little bit, okay? But get around those people that inspire you, those people that um, push you to go f uh, further and higher, okay? Make sure you write your goals and your affirmations out each and every day, okay? So uh, step number two of six, okay? And this is where we're gonna get a little bit more technical and not too technical, but I'm gonna give you some systems for you guys to actually use. So I want you guys to make sure you have your pen and paper out so that you can write this down, okay? I'm gonna take a sip of water. All right, so the first thing that you need to do, you guys, and again, I'm not an accountant or an attorney or a CPA or anything like that. I'm just little old Daniel. Uh, but what you want to do, you guys, is make sure that you set up your business so that you are legal, okay? So you can set up what's called a DBA. That is short for doing business as. Uh, some states, they're called a fictitious name, all right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to pay $20 to $50 for that. And usually that uh, covers you for about three to five years, okay? Uh, it really depends on what state or county you're in, okay? This is like the most basic form of business setup that you should set up for your uh, real estate business, okay? Now, the only thing with this is it's not going to protect you if somebody sues you, okay? So what you want to do, if it's within your budget, is you wanna set up a LLC, okay? LLC stands for Limited Liability Company, all right? And what that is gonna do is it's gonna actually protect you, okay? It's gonna create another entity that you can do your business with. And if somebody wants to sue you to high hell, uh, they can sue the LLC, but they can't touch uh, your personal uh, income or your assets or your property, okay? As long as you've gotten things set up correctly within your LLC, okay? Uh, those vary by state, but they typically cost within the range of 100 to 500 bucks a year, okay? And for either one of these, um, you can go to LegalZoom, all right? Uh, you can set them up uh, yourself as well. Just go to your Secretary of State's website and you can Google all of that information, okay? So the next thing that you wanna do, you guys, is make sure that you get two websites and a CRM system, okay? What is CRM system? It stands for Customer Relationship Manager. Because once you start dealing with a bunch of leads, because once you are rolling, uh, rolling full throttle, you guys, um, you're gonna have so many leads that are coming in, so many sellers, so many homeowners, so many buyers that you're not gonna be able to keep track of them, okay? So you can't go by the, okay, I'm gonna write everybody's information down on my notepad, okay? If you're only dealing with uh, three, four, five, ten 10 people, yeah, that's fine using a notepad. But if you start dealing, uh, get to a point where you're dealing with 100, 200, 300, 1,000 people, you need something that is bigger and better and better, okay? So uh, in the two websites, you guys, you're going to use one website for sellers, okay? And then you're going to use the other website for buyers. Because when people are looking to sell their house fast, again, there's multiple reasons why people want to sell their house fast. They may go to Google and they may search for something like uh, we buy houses or they may search for something like sell my house fast in Phoenix or whatever, okay? And you want them to uh, find your website that's devoted to our sellers, which basically tells them, hey, I buy 
uh, houses fast for cash, okay? I don't care what kind of condition it's in, I don't care how bad it is, I'll buy it, okay? And then for buyers, when somebody's doing a search online for uh, Omaha real estate investments, or if somebody's looking for income producing properties in Miami, okay? You want them to find your other website, which is devoted towards them, okay? So they know that once they get on their website, they're like, okay, I'm in the right spot. And for that, you guys, you're gonna go to leadpropeller.com. And it's gonna cost you 49 bucks a month, okay? Um, next step, you guys, is you need to get business cards, okay? And this is that that's not a, a vital need, but it's important for you to get business cards, okay? And so you wanna get a thousand cards for sellers and then 500 for buyers, okay? And the seller's business cards are gonna say, just like the websites, um, I buy houses fast for cash, okay? And then for the buyers, you're gonna say something to the effect of, I find deep discount properties at 50% of uh, uh, discount rates, okay? And then uh, for those buyer cards, those business cards, I'm sorry, you're gonna go to vistaprint.com, okay? And you're gonna spend about a little less than 100 bucks on that. You're gonna need to get phone numbers, okay? Do not, and I repeat, do not use your, am I holding this upside down? Do not use your personal cell phone number and give out your cell phone number to everybody in the mother, okay? You will shoot yourself in the head if you do this. Get numbers <laughs> uh, that you can use just for the purpose of uh, real estate, okay? And you wanna get at least one number for sellers to call you on and one number for buyers to call you on, okay? And you can get them free at google.com slash voice and you'll use Google Voice for that. Um, if you want something that's a little bit uh, uh, easier to use in Google Voice, you can go to a system called vumber.com. And that's V as a victory, U-M-B-E-R.com. Vumber.com will charge you $9.99 a month for two lines and $19.99 a month for four lines, okay? Uh, that being said, oh yes, you gotta get your contracts together, okay? Uh, there's too many contracts that you use. You use one contract, the property sales agreement for sellers, and then you use the assignment contract for buyers, okay? That's a little bit outside of the scope of a 60 minute webinar. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail on that. But as I promised you guys uh, about 15 minutes ago, I am gonna give you everybody access to the, uh, the contracts at the end of this web class, okay? So make sure you stay till the end to, to get that. Um, next step, you guys, is you wanna make sure that you get an investor friendly title company or real estate attorney. And the, uh, these people should be able to do assignments and simultaneous closings, okay? So when you call them up, you just let them know, um, hey, my name is Daniel, my name is Sam, my name is Barbie, and I am uh, doing real estate investing, and I wanted to know if you guys do assignments and simultaneous closings, okay? And assignments, well, I'm not gonna go into detail on that, but a, a, an assignment is, again, you guys, where you just get a property under contract, and you assign that contract to a buyer for a higher uh, price, okay? A simultaneous closing, you guys, is where um, you come in and uh, you buy the property yourself, okay? And you're using your money, but I show you a trick on how you can get somebody else's money to pay for it, okay? And then you close it to the uh, buyer, okay? And then you can make a lot more money doing things that way, okay? So there's some really, really sweet ninja tips uh, in wholesaling, you guys. So. Anyways, let me know you guys, if you guys are getting something out of this, go ahead and raise up those hands. If you're watching this live, go ahead and hit the heart button. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, I forget where these things are being aired at, okay? Uh, third, third thing out of six items, okay? And thank you, DJ and William Allen. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, Facebook, I want you to go ahead and in the comments area, do hashtag find cash buyers. Hashtag find cash buyers, okay? So it's important for you guys to make sure that you have your buyers all lined up so that you can do deals. Because the way you gotta look at, that, that you have to look at your buyers, you guys, is you have to look at them as your bank, okay? So when I look at my cash buyers, I look at them proudly. 
And, you know, I kind of, you know, stretch out and get comfortable within myself. And I'm like, this is, this is the bank of Wiafi over here. Okay. And I mean, yeah, I know that may be uh, kind of crazy to, to say it like that, but that's just how I do things. Okay. That's how I roll. And you should, I would tell you, roll the same way, okay? That is the bank of Alonzo. That is the bank of Armando. That is the bank of Kristen, okay? That is the bank of Ron Shell Shockley, okay? And so one way you guys find cash buyers is you can advertise a fan of property. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna buy 50 signs, all right? And those are gonna be 18 inch by 24 inch signs. Um, if you're broke, <laughs> Don't let that stop you, okay? Because those signs cost anywhere between a dollar to two dollars uh, a pop, okay? Uh, but what you can do is you can get cardboard boxes, which you can go dumpster diving in Walmart or get them free from uh, different grocery marts. You can buy a poster board. Um, if you want to buy them online, you can go to websites like dirtcheapsigns.com and buy them from there as well, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to put a message on there, okay? And I believe the message is going to be on the next slide. But you're going to post those signs at busy intersections in your city. You're going to post them at highway exits, okay? Post it at the part of the exit where cars are going to actually stop to, like, you know, look to make sure that they can, you know, turn, okay? Uh, you're also going to post those signs at in areas where there's traffic jams at, okay, or where there's backed up traffic, okay. Basically, you want to be able to put your signs, you guys, at places where vehicles will stop or be moving slowly so that they can read your message, okay. That's what we're getting at. And what's going to happen, you guys, is you're literally going to get hundreds of calls from your signs of people that have money to fund you, okay. And this is an example of a phantom banner sign, okay? So you're gonna state on the sign, I got a cheap house for sale, three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,900 square feet, only 19.5K cash. Call now and your phone number, okay? If you live in a city that has uh, multiple area codes, make sure you put your area code on there as well, okay? And if you live in a place like, let's say, California or Florida or Washington State or New York or Jersey, well, not Jersey, but um, any place that has higher priced properties, you're going to put a higher amount than 19000 in cash, okay? So um, next slide. Hey, we're moving along through this pretty quickly, you guys. Four, find motivated sellers. If you watch this on YouTube, Facebook, I want you to hashtag find motivated sellers in the comments area, okay? So uh, finding motivated sellers, you guys, is gonna be the most challenging part of wholesaling because uh, the thing or the fact of the matter is this, you guys and gals, is if you're able to find a ton of discount properties perpetually, you're gonna make a ton of money, all right? And motivation plus equity equals deal. Okay. And basically what that means, you guys, is if you find somebody, a homeowner that is motivated to sell their property, multiple reasons, they may have had a death in the family. They may have just inherited it. Um, they may need to be, uh, to make a, a quick job move in the next 30, 60 days, whatever. Okay. If they're motivated, that's one half of the equation that you need to have in order for it to be a five to $10,000 deal. Okay. The next half of the equation that you need, you guys, is they, the, the person needs to have equity in the property, okay? So the person needs to have um, enough ownership in their property for it to be a deal. Because if the property is only worth, let's say, $150,000 and they owe $200,000 on it, you can't do anything with that. So uh, you need motivation and equity for it to be a deal. Uh, you're gonna need to find properties, you guys, when you're looking for motivated sellers that are 70% of the ARV, which means after repair value. That means how much does the property cost after it's all fixed up and it's in good shape, okay? So you wanna find them at 70% of the ARV minus estimated repairs. So how much is it gonna, uh, going to cost approximately to fix up the house, okay? Minus your assignment fee, all right? I teach my students to always uh, put in at least $10,000 into their um, assignment fee calculation just so that you can make money. 
And then also, if you find a buyer that wants to negotiate with you and negotiate you down a little bit, which a buyer buyers will do that, um, you still have room to negotiate downwards where you're still making money, okay? Uh, but at the end of the day, I um, don't want any of you guys to, to make less than $5,000 per deal, okay? So uh, write down $5,000 in the comments, in the chat box if you're watching this live on the webinar. I'm gonna give you guys a second because I, I wanna see how many people respond. So write down $5,000 minimum. I want y'all to be part of the 5K club, even the 10K club, okay? So ARV, <laughs> I see all your comments. So ARV means after repair value, again. And um, I already went through all this, so I'm not gonna go through uh, that first portion. But how do you determine what the ARV is? You can go to a realtor and a realtor can tell you, they can run a CMA, a comparative market analysis on the property. Or you can get a quick estimate by using sites like Zillow, Trulia, Redfin, Realtor.com, okay? You never wanna just use one of those sites, one of those websites. You wanna to look to see what the value is on each of those websites, and then you wanna average out the numbers, okay? And that's how you do it, all right? So again, you guys, you need to find properties that are at 70% of ARV minus estimated repairs minus your assignment fee. And you estimate repairs by doing $10 times the square footage of the property if the house is in a livable condition. $15 times the square footage of the property if the house needs moderate repairs. $20 to $30 times the square footage if the house hasn't been updated in years, okay? or 30 to $50 times the square footage of the house for fire damaged homes or homes that are in like absolute crazy condition, okay? So let's say you find a property and it's a 1500 square foot uh, property and it's in, um, eh, it just needs some moderate repairs, okay? It needs some, uh, uh, actually let me uh, say that it's a livable house, okay? I don't have a calculator on me. So it's a 1500 square feet and it's in somewhat livable condition, okay? So you're gonna take 1,500 times 10, okay? 1,500 square feet times $10, how much are we gonna estimate the repairs at? Go ahead and put it in the chat box or the comments area. Do, 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 do. Yes, you're right. For those of you guys who said $15,000 for the repairs, you are right. I gave you two thumbs up, okay? That's how you estimate repairs. You can also use a contractor to uh, uh, write up what's called a scope of work so that you can see what the repairs are gonna be, okay? Um, and again, you guys, your assignment fee should always be set at 5,000 to 10,000 bucks on up, okay? Um, make money, okay? Don't be a broke wholesaler, okay? So you gotta real estate to make money, not be broke. So um, an example, a property has an ARV of $150,000, all right? So using the 70% of ARV minus estimated repairs minus your assignment fee, you come up with this number. 70% of 150,000 is 105,000, okay? The house is 1,000 square feet, needs moderate repairs. So uh, we took $15 times the square footage of um, 1,000 square feet, and that's gonna be 15,000 bucks. So at that point, we take $105,000 minus $15,000, which is the estimated repairs, which leaves us with $90,000, okay? Now, we're not done yet because we got to figure out how much money we're going to make off of our assignment fee, okay? So you want to make $10,000 out of the deal, all right? Because you're a WIAFI student. So $90,000 minus $10,000, which is your assignment, okay? Which leaves you with a number of $80,000, this is gonna be known as your MAO, and I want you all to write that down. MAO, M is Mary, AO, and that stands for Maximum Allowable Offer, okay? So you should absolutely not get this property under contract with a seller for anything over $80,000, okay? If you can get it under contract with a seller for $70,000, that's good. Or 50000 that's great, all right? Because the lower that you get it under $80,000, the more money you're going to make, all right? So in this example, if you get it under contract for 80000 bucks, 
you're making ten thousand dollars off of the deal okay if you get on a contract with the seller for sixty thousand dollars okay then you are going to make thirty thousand dollars off of that deal okay does everybody know how i got that <laughs> let me know I know you guys are like, wow, it's too late at night for all this math, Daniel. I know, I know, I feel you. So look, how do I find motivated sellers? Okay, there's a bunch of ways that you can find motivated sellers. You can use bandit signs like uh, we discussed, okay? You just plop out signs that say, we buy houses, uh, fast for cash, and your phone number. You can send direct mail, which we're gonna talk about uh, here in a second. Uh, those, that includes sending out postcards and yellow letters to people that own vacant properties. And I'm gonna tell you guys where to buy those leads at and how to, how to find them, okay, in a minute. Uh, you can go door knocking pre-foreclosures, okay? You can get those lists from realtors, from title companies. You can go to Zillow.com and find properties that are in pre-foreclosure. And properties that are in pre-foreclosure, the person is at a point where they're gonna lose their property and not make any money off of it they're gonna get a foreclosure on their record and they are still going to owe money on the house, okay? The bank is gonna uh, you know, put that as a record on their uh, credit report, okay? So they might as well sell the property because they're motivated, okay? You can do what's called driving for dollars where you drive around your city and you look for vacant properties. So properties that um, have windows boarded up and they have uh, newspapers and telephone books like piled up on the porch and it just looks dirty, nasty, ugly. Uh, it just looks like a hot mess, okay? Um, you find properties like that, you guys, as you're driving along your routes, you're going to grocery stores, dropping the kids off at daycare. I want you guys from here on out to pay attention to those addresses and write them down because you can take those addresses, look them up online, okay? And so uh, just do a Google search for uh, property tax assessor in whatever city you live in. And then you can just look up every single address and you can find out who owns that property. And then from that point, you can just mail them or even uh, 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 call them up, okay? Uh, you can buy internet leads from places like zbuyer.com. You can use bird dogs and those are people that will find you properties. And when you close on those properties, you just give them 300 to 500 bucks for finding you the properties. You can cold call FSBOs, which is for sale by owners, and just ask them, hey, um, I'm looking to buy properties. Um, would you accept X amount of dollars for it, okay? And you just go through the list. That's a free way that you guys can do this, okay? Where there's a will, there's a way, okay? So understand that, all right? Uh, you can post ads and classified ads that are online or print, okay? A bunch of different ways. But one of the easiest ways, you guys, uh, to do your marketing for sellers is to um, use bandit signs, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do 50 plus bandit signs every week in uh, blue collar areas and in low income areas, okay? And you know what? I'm actually gonna scratch this, okay? Uh, because that's not accurate. What you're gonna do, you guys, is you are gonna place those signs at the busiest intersections in town, all right? but just make sure that you stay away from uh, upper class or wealthy areas, okay? Because they're definitely not gonna like that, all right? So, um, and let me know if you guys are liking this. Go ahead and hit the hands up and the thumbs up and the loves. And if you hate this, I want you to give me a big old angry face and be like, oh, all right. How you doing, Kimona Harrison? I'm sorry, Kimona Hansen. Um, look, this is an example of a banner sign that you can place. I'll buy your house today, cash, and then your phone number. Ask for Lisa, if that's your name. Um, you can also do we buy houses, fast for cash, phone number, okay? Just get your message out there on banner signs, all right? Uh, driving for dollars, you guys, let me go a little bit more into that. That's a, uh, not a free way that you can do things, okay? But it's a uh, cheaper, more inexpensive way that you can do things, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna pick out two to three days out of the week where you just wanna go driving around uh, your town, maybe in the hood, low-income areas, blue-collar, working-class neighborhoods. 
And what you want to do is you want to find 50 addresses of vacant properties each time you drive out there, okay? So you have your notepad, you're out there driving, okay? Taking down the addresses, okay? If you can get somebody to drive for you while you take down the addresses, that's even better. And then when you find a vacant property, what you're gonna do, number one, is leave a note at the door telling them, I wanna buy your house for cash, okay? And then leave your contact information. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask the neighbors, hey, um, I'm a real estate investor, I'm looking to buy uh, properties in this neighborhood. Uh, can you tell me about uh, who owns this property, okay? And neighbors all the time will tell you, hey, this person owns a property, he hasn't been here for years, come fix this property because it's an eyesore, okay? Uh, and then what you're gonna do, you guys, is when you, when you get home, you're gonna go to your tax assessor's website. Again, you can Google it and find it. You're gonna find who owns the property. You're gonna find their billing address, okay? So you can mail them a letter telling them, hey, my name is Jan, I want to buy your house at this address for cash. Please call me back as soon as you can. Ron Shell, and then your phone number, okay? Uh, you can also call them, all right? You can do uh, what's called skip tracing and find out what their phone numbers are and actually just give them a call, okay? This is how ninjas do it. And this is an example of a letter that you send, okay? Uh, Dear Jimmy, hi, my name is Alonzo. I want to buy your house at 123 Main Street. Please call me at 555-5555, okay? Nobody call that number because it doesn't exist. <laughs> Please call, thanks, Alonzo, and then your number, okay? It's that simple, okay? How many of you guys could do that, all right? If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, I want you to put hashtag I can do it. Hashtag I can do it. Put that in the comments area right now. Anybody can do this. You can write a letter. I don't care if your handwriting is sloppy. Do it. Take action. And you guys... <laughs> I see all your comments in the in on the webinar. I'm going to answer those here in like five minutes, okay? But look, you guys, the last point, six, get coaching and mentoring, okay? This is where you take it to the top, okay? Teamwork makes the dream work. That's what I tell my students. You need to have a good team around you in order to be successful, all right? Uh, there's literally 100 million things that can go wrong or pop off or lose you a bunch of money, lose you your shirt which a book or a video is not gonna help you with, okay? Uh, so what do you do at that point when something happens where you don't know who to turn to, all right? So basically, look, I use this as an example all the time. It may be a good example, may be a bad example. You tell me. You can learn how to do a tracheotomy on a person's windpipe if you want by watching a five minute YouTube video, all right? So I can learn, like if your throat clogs up, I can learn to punch a hole in your throat and put a straw in there and then tape it up so that you can breathe and that your life is saved, okay? But what happens if you hit an artery, okay? What happens if you hit something that you should not be hitting, all right? And like the push, uh, the person starts to gush out blood all over the place, okay? And I'm sorry, I'm being so gory. I know some of y'all are eating dinner right now, okay? But what happens if you have an emergency, okay? The YouTube video can't do jack crap at that moment, okay? And that's why people that are, doctors and surgeons, they go to school for eight to 10 years to learn what to do in case the what if happens, in case the emergency happens, okay? So true, so what you do, you guys, is you've got free information and you've got coaching, you got mentoring, okay? We're gonna be up here to help make sure that you reach and soar to the top. And true wisdom is this, you guys, learn from other people's mistakes and don't make those same mistakes by yourself, okay? So here's what we have. We have the six week wholesaling bootcamp, okay? And I don't know why I put wholesaling down there. It's called the six week house flipping bootcamp. Sounds much better. And so what we're doing right now, you guys, is we're enrolling people in today at a discount. The online training is gonna start in less than 10 days, okay? It's gonna start uh, next week, right? In uh, November. And so let's go through a brief summary of what that entails. And you guys hang on because I'm gonna give one person a free membership to the six week bootcamp. I'm also gonna give you directions on how to, uh, uh, on the free contracts, okay? As well as answer all you guys' questions on here, okay? I wanna make sure everybody's questions are answered uh, while you have me live, okay? But look, 
My original academy that I have, you guys, is a 12 month long program. And when students come in, they invest 5,000 bucks a pop, okay? And what we do is we split the first deal that they do 50-50. And so this is a very, very intensive uh, process. And my students have been having great success, okay? But what I wanted to do, and this happened uh, back in February of this year, okay? I wanted to find a more economical way to get students on board who may have limited funds, but they're serious about learning how to flip houses, okay? So my challenge was this, how can I find a solution that's gonna be under $1,000, all right, which is an 80% discount off of my 12 month academy, how can I provide students with access to that training, okay? And so what I did was I, you know, tinker, tinkered around in this bald head of mine. And what I did was I created a six week wholesaling bootcamp. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you an economical, um, slimmed down version of what you need to do bare bones to get your first deal done, okay? To get you to your first $10,000 a month uh, uh, goal, okay? Because the, the basic goal that everybody has when they're learning to wholesale houses, you guys, is how do I put money in my pocket? How do I get my first deal done? How do I build up a cash buyers list, okay? How do I fill out contracts, okay? How do I talk to uh, sellers and negotiate with them and talk to buyers, okay? And so, what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to give you the link to choose your investment plan right now in the six-week boot camp, and we're going to start enrolling right now, okay? And again, it's going to be under $1,000 for your tuition, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept the first 10 wholesalers, all right? So 10, not 15. Uh, 10 people that want to get out there, crush it, take names later in 2017 into our next class of the six-week online boot camp. And it is an online program, you guys, so it's not out here in Vegas. So here's what we're gonna cover in the six week boot camp, you guys, all right? Make sure you're paying attention. What we're, you're gonna do is you're gonna have access to 100 and, uh, what did I write out, 120 minutes? It's a two hour video trainings every week, okay? And those trainings are designed to take, uh, give you the baby steps to take in order to achieve the milestones quickly, okay? They're fun trainings, they're not boring, they're not gonna put you to sleep. Uh, you're gonna be happy watching them, okay? Uh, we're going to teach you all the core and the basic essential things that you need to do to get out there, do your first deal, and hit your first $10,000 a month mark, okay? Again, I cannot promise that you're going to do $10,000 or $20,000. I can't even promise that you're going to make $1, okay? But you get out there, you crank it out, you do what you're supposed to do, you ask questions, ask questions, ask questions when you're in with me for the six-week uh, time period, and you're going to be well on your way, Okay? You're gonna learn how to set up your business properly. You're gonna learn how to find motivated sellers. You're gonna learn how to find cash buyers, how to run accurate comps and determine the ARV. You're gonna learn how to find title companies and real estate attorneys in your city. And then you're gonna learn how to fill out contracts, okay? So we're gonna give you the whole kit and caboodle. And this right here, this is actually a screenshot of um, a coaching call that I did a few months ago with uh, I believe my second class of boot campers, okay? And, uh, Every week, you guys, uh, you're gonna get access to our weekly question and answer sessions on video, okay? And so the question and answer sessions typically last between one to two hours, okay? But what I do is I wanna make sure that every question that anybody has is answered and all of those sessions are recorded, okay? So uh, we're also gonna have a private Facebook group just for the six week uh, bootcamp members to learn and to network with each other, ask questions, get answers to their questions, and just to build up a community, okay? Because again, teamwork makes the dream work and you're not in this by yourself. You're in this with me as a coach and with nine other students, okay? So uh, you're also gonna get lifetime access to all of my contracts and the training videos, okay? Even past the six weeks. And what I'm going to do again, you guys, is I'm going to offer it to you guys and gals that are serious at a discount rate. Again, it's going to be under 1K, but you got to take action, okay? So uh, this right here is a message one of my previous students uh, sent me, okay? So um, it wasn't last month, but it was back in January earlier this year. I ran a test with a tiny group of people just to see if um, uh, a 30, I think I did a 30-day boot camp, okay, that was online. All right. And this guy sent me a message and uh, he was telling me how he made 5,000 bucks wholesaling houses. Okay. And look, the guy was uh, only in a 30 day 
uh, bootcamp. Okay. So the question I'm going to ask you guys right now and do this really quickly. How many of you guys would like to see something like this happen in 30 days or six weeks? Okay. Hand after hand after hand should be raised. Okay. Like it. Love it. Okay. Um, matter of fact, somebody just hashtag me as well in the comments area. Okay. Me as well. I want to make this. Okay. Um, you need training. Okay. And so the normal investment, you guys, in the six week house flipping boot camp, you guys, is just nine ninety nine, which obviously is an excellent deal compared to the five thousand uh, dollar twelve month boot camp that we have. Okay, and I'm going to get to your questions here in just a second. Uh, but your investment today, while this webinar, this training is still running, is only going to be seven ninety nine. Okay, so not seven dollars and ninety nine cents because this is not Kmart or Walmart. Seven hundred and ninety nine dollars. Okay, uh, what you're going to do. You guys, is going to go to houseflippingbootcamp.com, okay, right now, okay, and take advantage of it. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking 10 people in at the discounted rates, okay? 10 people in at the discounted rates, all right? So you're going to go to houseflippingbootcamp.com, all right? And so uh, I feel like a commercial whenever I say this, an infomercial, but wait, there's more. How do you guys like my commercial voice? Somebody said, don't quit your day job. <laughs> so what I want everybody who is serious about this uh, and they actually do want to get in, I do want you to get in, okay? I don't want there to be any obstacle uh, that's there for you, okay? And so as I promised in the email that I sent to everybody earlier, if you got that email, I will be offering uh, two payment plans for the bootcamp, okay? So the first payment plan is a two payment plan. So the first payment is gonna be paid today. The second is gonna happen in 30 days from now. And the, it's only gonna be two payments of 549, okay? If you need a payment plan. Regular price is two payments of 649. So you're saving uh, 200 bucks total. Uh, next payment plan is three payments. First payment now, pay every 30 days. And then that's only gonna be three payments of 449. Okay, regular investment is three payments of 549, okay? Obviously, you're gonna get your best deal at 799, okay? Just pay the 799, get in, all right? Uh, two payments is gonna be two pay of 549, three pay of 449. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get started now. You're gonna go to houseflippingbootcamp.com and pick the plan that works out the best for you, okay? So now I'm gonna open it up for questions, okay? So um, I'm going to go through the questions that uh, people had. Give me one second and let me get on the screen. I'm gonna go through the questions that uh, people had earlier on because we had a bunch of questions. Give me one moment. Okay, let's bring on my screen. Hey, everybody. Okay, so uh give me one second and if you guys watch this on uh uh Isaiah said them babies need everything <laughs> entrepreneur sorry i'm going through all these uh questions because uh there's a million questions kimona said hi daniel my Ghanaian brother i should have been a millionaire by now but i will not let this opportunity pass me by again great job uh, Tamika said, I can do it. I can do it. Me as well. Great, great, great. William Allen said, um, when it becomes time to answer questions, I need to know if I can get started by property locating for you and investors first. Okay. Uh, I want to be in the next Ninja class because I have been forming connections all over across the country as a former mortgage broker. Therefore, I get deals all day. The most most investors would move on, okay? And then, uh, yes, you gave me some details on that, okay? Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna answer that here in just a second, William. I actually, and I forgot, you guys, I need to give you guys access to your free stuff, like I promised. So give me one second. Do you guys love me, even though I went five minutes over? I hope so. Okay, so we're on here. Let's play that. I promise you guys, 
There we go. Okay. So uh, houselivingbootcamp.com to get started. Houselivingbootcamp.com. And then this is where we get, uh, give you out our free goodies. Okay. So to get a copy of the seller and the buyer contracts, you guys, what you're going to do and make sure you write this down is send an email to gift at houseflippingdojo.com. Gift at houseflippingdojo.com. Okay. Because, um, oh, and then when, once you send that email, you guys, you're going to uh, need to check your inbox or your spam folder, okay? If you don't see it in your inbox, check your spam folder, okay? Because it's an automated process, so I don't like manually send people out contracts because that's like not efficient on my time, but I have it set up where it automatically sends you the email um, with an attachment to it, okay? So uh, let's get a winner for the free house flipping boot camp. Okay. How many of you guys want to see who won the boot camp? Go ahead and <laughs> everybody raise up their hand. They're like, I want it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something funky real quickly here. I'm going to stop the share. Okay. And then I'm going to get somebody to help me. Okay. Uh, who wants to help me? Go ahead and raise your hand if you want to help me and you're in front of your computer right now and you don't mind going on uh, video, okay? Uh, go ahead and raise your hand up. And the first person whose hand I see, I'm gonna pick. Okay. Oh, now I can't see whose hand's raised up. Okay, uh, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and in the Q&A, write down me. <laughs> I promise you guys, I'm not that technologically savvy. Okay, Sean Jefferson said me. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna bring you on board, Miss Sean Jefferson. Give me one second. Let me find you on here. Where are you at, Sean? There you go. You're gonna be on TV. So I'm gonna promote you to panelist. Okay, and... And you disappeared on me, Sean Jefferson. Where are you at, Sean? Oh, I think she dropped off. Oh, there you go. Okay, Sean, are you, you have a video on your thing, don't you? Give me one sec, let me unmute your audio. Hey, Sean. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Doing great, doing great. How are you enjoying the webinar? It's great. Awesome. Awesome. Tell me one big, oh yeah. And you know what? Yeah. Put it down so I can see your face. There you go. Everybody wants to see your beautiful face. You, you, you kind of had it like this where you're like, I know. Hold, hold on a sec. <laughs> there we there go. go. There you go. We can see you. Okay. So what I want for you to do, Miss Sean Jefferson from Indianapolis, Indiana, Daniel, I'm from Georgia. I virtually wholesale in Indianapolis. Oh, you virtually wholesale in Indianapolis? Yes. Okay, I didn't know that. Like, I always yes. see you talking about Indianapolis. I thought you were Indiana. That's my virtual market. Okay, okay. So, you guys um, you guys that don't know, don't know Sean, she's killing it. Um, I've known her on Facebook for, what, about five or six years, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think this is actually, the, like, the first time we've ever talked yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> cool 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 all right so what i want for you to do sean is i want you to pick um a number between uh one to 30 21 21 okay why'd you pick 21 because that was my retired basketball number in high school oh yeah yeah you, you were a forward weren't you a guard a guard. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So Sean picked uh, 21. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the question and answers session section. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go to the, to the chat session. Okay. And I'm going to count these comments and I'm going to pick the 21st comment. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. Uh, this was from Lesie Ravon. Lisi Ravon. <laughs> and forgive me if I'm saying your name wrong. Lisi Ravon, are you there? Les Lessie. She said Lessie. Okay, great, great. Hey Lessie, can I uh I need I need to bring you on board. I need to bring you on board so I can congratulate you. She said, yes, I'm here. Don't give away my uh <laughs> my free sets to somebody else. All right. So Les uh Lessie, I'm gonna go ahead and um bring you on board. Give me one second. Make sure you got your microphone and your video on. And you guys stay to the end because I'm, I want to make sure that I answer everybody's question on here. Okay. So uh, let's see. Come on board. And Sean, because you're such an awesome person, I'm going to give you a 30 minute uh, free one-on-one -on -one session with me. Okay. Oh, awesome. So, um, and we could talk about uh, business, marketing, uh, negotiations, technical things within real estate, whatever okay. you want, okay? Okay. So, um, uh, make sure, Sean, though, that you, uh, you message me on Facebook just so that I don't forget because, you know, okay. I will forget. <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right. Great, great. And let's see. I'm going to bring you on board. Let me unmute you. How you doing, girl? I'm doing good. Good, good. You, you live on national TV. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what city and state are you in? I am in uh, Mableton, Georgia, which is outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, okay. you're near me. Oh, hi, Sean. Hi. Look, I just made a connection. Yeah, you yeah. guys should like switch and trade information. Okay. <laughs> we'll do. Oh. We will. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, let's see. And I'm saying your name right, right? Leslie. Right. Leslie. Mm -hmm. Leslie. Okay. So, like, what? It like, have you gotten started in real estate yet, or like, what's your story? No, I've just always had an interest, and so actually, right now, um, I have a little bit of time to put towards uh, learning because I'm I'm on what's called a sabbatical for my job, my full time job, um, where I get a couple of months off. Um, because I've invested 15 plus years on my job. So I thought now would be a good time to learn. Uh, well, not really learn, but get more knowledge and actually put forth time and effort into to learning the process. Awesome. Awesome. You excited to go through this uh, six week boot camp for free? I am. Free is a good word. <laughs> <laughs> she said free is a good word. Hey, I want y'all to hashtag free is a good word. Free All right. Good word. And, and, and Leslie, I want you to go ahead and do something for me. Can you do something for me? Sure. All right. I want you to be like, woo! Woo! <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So, uh, Leslie, I want you to um, go ahead and message me or email me on Facebook or email or whatever contact information you have for me. Uh, did you find me on Facebook or are you on my email list or how did you find me? Uh, I watched some YouTube videos. YouTube videos. Okay. But you do have my contact information, right? I have what you just gave us, the email address. Well, all I have is the um, the email with the gift at, hold on, I just wrote it down. You just gave it to us. Okay. For us to receive the free gift, that's all I have. No problem. Uh, what I'm going to do is, um, give me one moment. And you guys, um, as we're doing this, I want you to post your questions in the Q&A, okay? And some of you guys, I may bring on board the live uh, feed so that you can ask them. Um, but uh, give me one second. Let's see. Okay. Um, go ahead and take house flipping, do I'm sorry, house flipping ninja at gmail.com, okay? House flipping ninja at gmail.com. And let me know who you are and that you uh, won the free gift. And I'm writing it down here as well. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. All right. Everybody give Leslie a hand. Thank you so much. All right. As much as I love you all two ladies, I'm going to boot you all off. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Tamika Corbett was like, yay. All right. So I'm going to switch you guys back to panelists. I'm sorry, back to viewers. 
And Sean, make sure you get at me. I will. I All right. So uh, questions. Okay. Uh, and you guys, again, go to houseflippingbootcamp.com, houseflippingbootcamp, to take advantage of the six-week boot camp that's going to start next week, okay? Um, I'm going to take the offer down that's on there uh, probably in the next uh, 72 hours, okay, or until we get 10 spots filled up, okay? So it's going to be closed down. Some of you guys remember, uh, may have tried to get into the boot camp that we had, uh, I believe it was three months ago, and you went in there and it was taken down, okay? So don't let it get taken down, all right? Um, let's see. Tamika asked, what if I don't have a buyer or seller under contract yet, but I would like to do a JV with somebody? Is that okay for us to both work together towards getting buyers and sellers together, okay? And uh, yeah, that's fine. So typically what would happen in that situation, uh, Tamika, is somebody, another wholesaler would have the property under contract themselves, okay? So they would have the seller under contract. And so what's gonna happen is the only thing that they need you for is to find the buyer, okay? It's very, very simple to find the buyer, again, using the, the band sign approach. Um, you can go to REA meetings, which is real estate investing meetings, um, you can do mailings to people that have purchased properties cash within the past three to six months. Okay. Um, you find the buyer and you guys come together and then you guys just split the assignment fee 50, 50. Okay. The biggest, most important thing, uh, Tamika is to make sure you always have a JV agreement that's signed by both you and the other wholesaler. Okay. All right. Because I hate to say this, all right, but the, the truth of the matter is that there's a lot of snakes in the grass out there, Tamika, and there's some people that will take your buyer and they'll give you a middle finger and uh, not split the money with you, okay? So <laughs> you gotta always protect yourself and your interests, okay? Um, so give me one second and go ahead and ask your questions, you guys. DJ said that free is a good word. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, give me one second. Uh, Leon Butler said, when will you upload a video on how to fill out the assignment contract? Um, I probably won't. Um, there's some things I give out for free and there's some things I don't give out for free. That's probably going to be one thing I don't give out for free. So, um, but uh, hey, I may my viewpoint may change in the next few months or year. Uh, let's see, Tracy, who's calling from the Galaxy S8. I believe she's calling from her phone. She said, how do I find people? Uh, how do I find people? Let me put on my glasses. When you get old, you guys, you, you can't see no more, all right? Um, and again, you guys, take advantage of this. Uh, take advantage of what we're doing, you guys. Go to houseflippingbootcamp.com houseflippingbootcamp.com, okay? And so uh, make sure you take advantage of this. Uh, we're gonna keep this going until we get to 10 people uh, or 72 hours, okay? Uh, let's see. Okay, so Tracy said, how do I find people that I need to create for my team, all right? So um, with a title company or a real estate attorney, that's gonna be the most important thing for you to find, Tracy. Um, you want to go ahead and uh, make sure that you call different title companies that are in your city and then just ask them that question. Do you do assignments and simultaneous closings? If the person on the other line says, oh yeah, we do 10 million of them a year, okay, then you know that that's the person for you. But if they say something to the effect of, uh, what is an assignment? Then that's not the right person for you. And so you keep on calling, all right? Another thing that you can do is you can go to my free uh, real estate group that's on Facebook. We have a group of about 8,000 uh, members in my uh, real estate community that I created on Facebook. We just created it this year. And you can go in there and just say, hey, uh, does anybody know where a uh, real estate inf uh, investor friendly title company is in whatever state that you live in, Tracy, okay? Uh, the next thing that you will need is a realtor. Uh, you want to have a realtor in your back pocket that can, uh, he or she can run comps for you 
or they can help you out with various things, okay? Uh, you can find those guys very, very easily. And, and actually, they'll find you because as you're doing your marketing, you guys, uh, people will, realtors will contact you, especially if you're doing bandit signs, okay? And the one thing to understand is uh, people are motivated by money, okay? So if somebody knows that they're going to make money off of you, then they are going to want to be on your team, okay? One thing that I tell realtors uh, that we deal with and I tell my students to tell them is that, hey, I do a ton of marketing every single month, okay? I get a ton of leads. Pretty much 90% of the leads I cannot do anything with because of, there's not enough equity in those deals, but they're perfect for listings. So what I'm going to do is uh, if you give me um, comps and you help me out in this area, then I'm going to give you those leads, okay, for free, or you just give me a $500 marketing fee should you close on them, okay? Um, and then beyond that, uh, Tracy, those are going to be your two biggest members. Okay. And then also you want to join a uh, local RIA. Okay. And, um, oh, back to William Allen, Allen's question. Sorry. I did not forget about you, sir. Um, he said, uh, let's see, you want to be in the next ninja class. Uh, you've been forming connections all over the country. Let me know what, what, what city and state you're in. Okay, I see right here, uh, Ferndale, Michigan. Okay, um, I mean, you know what? Find somebody in Michigan, William, I would say. Uh, join my real estate group by going to flippinghouseslikeaninja.com, flippinghouseslikeaninja.com, and ask if there's any wholesaler that's out in that area, okay, uh, that you can uh, potentially partner up with, because I, I don't do uh, deals out of Michigan, unfortunately. So, um, let's see, Sean Jefferson asked, what works best for you in marketing? Sean, I love doing direct mail and I love doing YouTube videos. Okay. Um, direct mail, if you're doing it in the proper way, uh, and you're putting the proper resources to it, um, you can generate tons of leads calling you and people calling you. Okay. Um, I love YouTube videos because you can get them ranked to the top of Google searches really, really quickly for terms like sell house fast in Indiana or sell house fast in Mableton, Georgia for a lessee or whatever. Okay. And people will love it. Okay. So uh, make sure that you guys are implementing YouTube videos. Okay. Cause YouTube videos rock. And William Allen said he's already a member. Okay, let's see this. That's this, this what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear, William. So I'm going to actually go to you. I'm sorry, not YouTube. But I'm going to go to Facebook real quick and see if anybody has asked any questions because I cannot see on my screen. So you guys give me one second. And you guys that are enrolling in this, you guys, um, houseflippingbootcamp.com, houseflippingbootcamp.com, okay? And how you doing, Joseph Coulter and Kevin Dillinger from Florida, Shonda Manning, Romel Lomboy. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Okay. And thank you guys for everybody that liked the video and everything. Um, okay. So we're getting close to that 90 minute mark. So I'm going to take one more question. And then I'm going to get out of here so I can eat some dinner. Okay. So give me one second. William said, my son is in Atlanta trying to get started too. They need to get in contact. Okay, great. Yeah, definitely uh, get in contact with uh, Leslie and uh, Sean Jefferson. Okay. So anyways, you guys, hey, go to houseflippingbootcamp.com, houseflippingbootcamp.com. Sean, make sure you get at me. Uh, we'll get you that 30-minute um, uh, uh, session over the phone. Leslie, we'll get you that free membership in the bootcamp. If there's any further questions, you guys, you guys know where to find me at. I am on Facebook. So peace and God bless you guys. And thank you for attending this webinar.